everyone. Um, it's time to take a look at our next upcoming moon, the waning crescent moon in Libra. So our waning crescent moon in Libra is going to last from Monday, November 29th to the morning of December 1st. And um, in case some of you don't remember what the waning crescent phase is or the balsamic moon phase is, that's the time when we are gearing up to kind of start setting are getting ideas for setting new intentions, right? It's it's um, coming up with plans that we would like to see manifested. It's not about planting seeds just yet, because remember that after the waning crescent moon slash the balsamic moon, we will have the new moon and that's the time for actually setting these intentions. But during the waning crescent phase, it's time to kind of get ideas like what do I want to set intentions for? I have all this wisdom that I collected from pretty much the whole moon cycle that I've just been through and I'm ready to start releasing the old, the things that aren't working for me. And of course, you know that that can mean anytime there's release, it can mean, you know, feelings of loneliness at times. So you may actually kind of get a feeling of being isolated. Um, not surprising, coming right off the heels of Thanksgiving, you know how these holidays tend to make a lot of people. And the last thing that we want to keep in mind when it's time for a waning crescent moon, also known as the last phase of the moon cycle, is that it's a magical time. It's when we're feeling kind of, uh, I guess, inspired. So look for inspiration, right? It's all about what do I want to, what do I want next month? What do I want? <laughs> what do I want to manifest? <laughs> all right, so let's get into what kinds of energies will be in the air specifically for this waning crescent moon in Libra. All right, and these cards have been calling. Okay, okay. Also, if you'd like to have a personal reading with me um, or a live Zoom, see this card wants to come back out again. Okay, we got you. We're gonna... <laughs> or a live um, Zoom healing with me, please do check out what I offer on my Etsy page. Okay. All right. Let's check this moon in Libra. All right. Here we go. I do feel that some of you are, somebody here is going to be moving house is what I'm getting. Interesting. <laughs> moving house. Okay. So if that's you and you're moving um, house, uh, if you're moving to a new home, if you're moving house, you are definitely going to a better place is what I'm getting. So in other words, let me just turn this upside down, <laughs> right side up. Um, in other words, this is a time where um, it's transition time is what I'm getting. So for some of you, that manifestation of transition energy will be about moving to a new home. I'm also getting some hospital energy. So um, some of you may actually find yourself in a hospital setting for whatever reason. Um, but either way, I'm getting, let me zone in on this energy that's coming in. During this time with the moon, uh, uh, waning crescent moon in Libra, it, it feels a little bit like mesmerizing words. So if you're watching this reading, I even want to yawn because of these energies that are coming in. Hold on. If you are, if you are watching this and this is for you, you may find that you have extra power, let's say extra power to the words that you say. You may feel that people hop to, they hop to whatever it is. So be mindful, of course, with absolute power comes absolute responsibility. You know the saying, watch what you're saying and watch to whom you're saying, because I feel like you will have the ability to sway, to set the agenda, to persuade. And really, the of those three, it's really to set the agenda. Because I'm seeing her literally saying what she wants to have done. And this person is literally just taking it and just going and doing it. That's it. And this person is doing it without thought. So you might want to be mindful of that. So if you are somebody who is in a position of power, your words will carry even more weight than they normally do. And so you want to really, um, oops, <laughs> you really want to take that into consideration. These cards are so slippery. They're actually pretty heavy. And I think that's partly why, but look at this card right here. 
Spirit is asking you during this time when the moon is in Libra, Spirit is asking you to first proofread, first double check, first check in with yourself before you lay out any decrees, even I would say before you even talk about your opinions, right? There's nothing wrong with sharing your opinions. This card literally just flipped up and wants to come in. But when you know the world is listening, when you know people are just willing to just take what you say with, with every grain of salt, uh, <laughs> with, just take it all into um, consideration, you really want to be mindful. Look at her. She's like playing her heart. It's like what she wants and she desires. It just comes out and people are willing to look at it. So the, the caution here that you're going to have to look through at this time is what is driving what it is that you're talking about. If you're expressing your desires to someone, what's actually driving that desire, right? Is it something that's coming from the light or is it something that's coming from a shadowy place? And that's something that's worth um, paying extra attention to. Because again, I keep seeing that uh, some of you may be in positions of power because you're here and you're supposed to be helping people cross through people you're helping people to progress in some way now i wouldn't be surprised because i have to be honest a lot of the people who tune into um my readings for whatever reason you uh you may be readers yourself or you may be adepts you may be psychics you may be whatever i do service the light worker community in particular so <laughs> it's always some type of somebody on here that this makes sense to oh three of these cards want to come out one two and three Whew. they are coming together let's see what that is all about awareness at the bottom of the deck okay this card's the leader <laughs> then this card and then this card ha okay so yeah also during this time makes total sense. Remember Libra is all about balance, right? Um, what I'm seeing here is, is a little bit of like a topsy-turvy energy. So make sure that you are, you know, working within your power, using self-care to really keep yourself balanced. They're saying melatonin for somebody here. So, so, so some of you may actually benefit from the use of melatonin. Um, you will know if that's for you because it'll come to you in different ways. Maybe you'll overhear it being spoken about by someone else. Maybe it'll come to your attention. Maybe somebody literally just talks to you about it. Um, but that's for somebody here. But Spirit is saying that uh, you want to make sure that you're keeping your mood up. You want to make sure that you're walking. What are they saying? Walking the fine line between time and and function. Huh, I have to sit and think about that for a second. <laughs> Walk and make sure that you're walking the fine line between time and function. Now that can hit that can hit you in whatever way it needs to hit you. So stop and think about that. But the way it hits me personally is walking the fine line between time and function means um coming it may, means finding a healthy way to reconcile with time reconcile time with what needs to be done right for example rest when you need to uh put put productivity in its place everything is not about producing 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 right we in the quote-unquote western world and the u.s is very famous for this we tend to think that we tend to think in terms of uh productivity good loafing around bad but you see, we also are very much stressed in this country because we don't give ourselves adequate self-care. We don't give ourselves downtime. And I know a lot of people don't have that luxury, but there are ways that we all can individually find ways to uh, give ourselves the self-care that we need, to take the time that we need to check in with ourselves. And so Spirit is saying to really balance that. Um, Spirit is also saying that part of that balancing comes from opening up to others about what we're experiencing, about what's going on. This is a really great exercise in vulnerability as well. Now, when I feel into um, Libran energies personally, just as, as, as um, what, an intuitive, an empath, whatever, Libran energies feel very soft and whatnot, but I always feel a very bit of a 
hard edge as well. There's always a, like a little sharpness that comes with Libra, um, in, in my opinion. And so it always kind of feels like this double-edged sword. And that, that makes, that's not surprising. That makes a lot of sense considering that Libra is about the scales. And Libra, when, and whenever you have scales, that means that you have two sides. And in fact, look at her. Yeah, two sides. And look at him. Yeah, look at that balance. So that's what we're going for here. So if you, Spirit is saying that if you feel that you are imbalanced in any way during this time that the moon is going to be in, moon, in Libra and in any time in general, right? You want to make sure that you're nurturing yourself, bringing yourself back to center, bringing yourself back into alignment, however you need to do that, whether it's through creative pursuits, whether it's through physical pursuits like yoga or playing sports or whatnot, um, music as well, whatever it is that you need to bring yourself to balance. It, it, you know, I'm getting with music that it, listening to music during this time is not going to be enough. You have to have some type of physical component. So music and dancing, um, maybe music and swaying, uh, music, if you want to do music, music and drawing there's something that need even music and while you're cooking if you want to go the music route i don't think that during this time it's going to be enough to just listen you've got to have that grounding element so look for that um soft baths they're saying they're saying soft baths but i feel really that you need to put pressure on the feet again going back to the grounding make sure that you so a lot of you who are listening to this may have a tendency to on earth they're saying <laughs> not on earth like dig something up but on earth like get up <laughs> i mean to uh, um, levitate dissociate whatever you'd like to say but spirit is saying ground yourself you can rub your feet so if you're in the bath and you're like literally having a tub bath make sure that you're just giving yourself a little massage especially around the soles of your feet especially around you know where your heel is <laughs> your foot's like this now <laughs> <laughs> your, your heel is like this and then you've got the arch and then you've got you know the rest of your foot um, right here right at the base of the heel between the um, the soles and like right there just make sure you're rubbing it hard to really bring that sensation bring yourself into alignment with um, the physical now by doing that you're going to once you balance, you're going to open up. This is about allowing yourself to be vulnerable because when we're grounded and we're feeling more secure, we no longer feel as unsafe. And so by definition, we feel more safe to open up. But notice as she's opening up, her hands are together. So allowing yourself to open up to other people doesn't mean putting yourself at risk, uh, you know, at danger for being hurt. Um, or they're saying overturned that's gonna be for somebody here or oh, the word overturned it means it means just um, it means allowing yourself to be accessible to others now once you're in that space of being able to um, give of yourself and connect with other people spirit is again once again bringing in this idea that you want to be mindful of what you're saying because you will hold incredible sway at this time magical feels kind of magical again and just getting this energy of being mesmerizing it's like mesmer mesmer mesmerize someone you say something and they do it it's hypnotic now you might be like how do i how does that happen well think about it in terms of an alchemical process now very simply for those of you who don't follow astrology or you know when we when we're talking about astrology we are merely talking about the energies that are in the air the energies that are in your field the energies in your environment the energies coming to earth the energies whatever you're being exposed to different flavors of energy so if you think about it you're a cute little energetic pod right and the energies that are around you, right, and during the moon in Libra, you're going to have other energies. You have Sagittarian energies, you've got your natal chart energies, you've got energies of people around you, but you're also going to have this um, influx of this Libran energy from the moon. And so, in other words, the moon's own energies will be flavored with the characteristics and the traits and the energies that are in alignment with Libran energy. So when that energy comes, it's going to alchemize with your energy. And for some people, 
that could be just a magical cocktail for your throat chakra, for your energetic field to the point that when you say something, your, your, your productions, your uh, communiques, your output just happens to take on another flavor. So just be mindful. That's why they're saying be mindful. They're saying, yeah, they're saying especially when you're outside, especially when you're outside, they're saying. <laughs> Speaking of, look at him. It's like time to come outside. <laughs> you in there? They're like, shh. The cat's telling me, don't even say a word, man. He's like, I'm not saying a word. You don't say a word. And they're both quiet, but we both see you. We see you inside, okay? <laughs> so shout out to my hermits. Me, right? The guides are always like, go outside. I'm like, okay. Okay. So, um, yeah, so when you're outside, when you're outside. Yeah, the sun. God, what's more alchemical than the sun? Jeez Louise. We love you, son. We love you. All right, there you go, beautiful. Aw, I love this card. Let's take a close look at it. So what I'm seeing here also, this <laughs> is so funny. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. It's like, they're gonna be teaching you how to be a better person. <laughs> it's funny. Under the Libran moon, they're going to be teaching you how to be a better person. Interesting, because it's like, what is she whispering in her ear? And then you see, it's kind of like this. Whatever she's saying is just pure beauty, right? <laughs> so during this time, keep an ear out. Oh my God, guides. <laughs> I always, I, okay, guides. Um, remember, we're talking about speaking and other people just being mesmerized by it. Look at this. So that means you too will be on the receiving end of some mesmerizing things, right? Spirit is going to be speaking into your ear as well about um, how to be a better person, however that is for you. This is not about everybody being at the same place, right? Remember when it comes to spiritual development and evolution of the self, it's really about the self. So one person could start off on this side of the spectrum and the other will start off on this side of the spectrum. Therefore, spiritual evolution is not this way and then this person's ahead and it, no, it's most likely this way or this way or the, it, it, it's, there's no ahead or whatever. It really depends on where you start, right? People are starting in different places and so, places and so what you've learned as a life lesson could be meaningless to somebody else whose life lesson is to learn the opposite of you. And so that's a little bit coming through right there. You see how this card just did that in alignment with this card? Spirit is saying that's one of the things that you have to keep in mind during this Libra and Moon. What works for you and what you've so painstakingly taken your life to learn, for example, could be utterly meaningless to somebody else because guess what? They already mastered that lesson. They're not here to learn that. They're here to learn the opposite or they're here to learn something that you haven't even conceived of as yet and so here we are coming back to coming to yet another libran concept of judgment and justice right so think before you speak again is the message coming through here um wasn't our last uh wasn't our moon in virgo about communication and watching your communication was that it this is a theme that's continuing here okay so just Maybe just don't say anything. Now. <laughs> don't say anything for the next for the three days. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You have to speak, but think first. <laughs> you don't know everything. I don't know everything. I'm channeling, so that's why I have to rewatch the videos because I'm like, what what did I say? Um, anyway, long story short, um, during the Libra moon, you're being guided to uh, mind your balance. Okay. Make sure that you are balanced. Also, to mind your manners. Watch what you're saying because you may have more sway than you know. And listen, you may not know what you're talking about. Ah, oh, got him. <laughs> so, um, and and the worst thing is when you're not aware that you're not that you don't know what you're talking about. You think you know what you're talking about, so you're advising. But please, maybe try not to be in an advisory role during this time, unless you have really sat down and really come to 
um, some thoughts about it and if you do choose to express it to other people that you do so in open oh yeah look open uh, in an open way not like the, you need to do this because nah, 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 I know better but more like huh I would like to invite you you know that therapist talk I'd like to invite you to consider or how about I hear you saying ba 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 but have you considered boop and they don't have to take your advice we have time for another card one more card thank you god spirit is like yeah because i do feel yeah there i just almost got an an energy that uh a boy a young young boy not young young but 14 and up is gonna check you they're gonna check you i'm gonna check you real hard if you're not if you're not careful right i don't know who that's for but hopefully not me <laughs> <laughs> so funny um strengthening bonds that's beautiful this this looks so lovely look at this this is kind of libran look at her in her garden in her garden <laughs> so um just keep everything sweet focus on the light focus on nurturing the self focus on staying um uh balanced uh oh i almost heard battered so somebody here, I hate to say it, it feels like you may be battered. It could be physically or, or um, emotionally, mentally, whatever it is, just try to stay out of that kind of um, environment as much as you can. So don't allow yourself to be, um, two words came up, bombarded, number one, and number two is bamboozled. So there's a little bit of an energy of pulling the wool over the eyes here. Gaslighting. Um, so... Spirit is saying to just be mindful. Guys, this is a time to really boost that self-care. And yeah, keep to yourself a bit. And just play it safe. <laughs> Coming off of Virgo, yeah, play it safe. Hermit, hermit up a little bit, hermit up. Anyway, so that's what those are the energies that are coming through for the um, Waiting Crescent Moon in Libra. You guys know that starting on December 1st, we'll be moving into the new moon. So don't forget to start thinking now about what kinds of things you would like to plant for your next um, moon cycle, okay? What moon flowers? How sweet. All right, if you want a personal reading with me or if you'd like to have a, um, a live energy healing session with me via Zoom, please do go ahead and check my Etsy site and um, yeah, you can place your orders through there. Thank you. Bye.